Here we go with a quick look around the hydroponics rig. We've got chili on the right and sweet basil on the left. I'm hoping those sweet basil fill out a fair bit over the next couple of weeks. Some of these chilies really started off quite poorly, but they're coming back and they're growing pretty well now. It's a Thai basil, a bit of an aniseed -y kind of flavour. And again, some of these didn't work out too well. They got a bit burnt one day. I've been hand watering them for a little while just to see if I can pick them up. Let's see if we've got any roots coming through. I know we've got some on these chilies. Yeah, have a look at this. That's what we're talking about. Have a look at this guy. Don't know why this one's grown so well. Tell you what, look at the size of the roots on that guy. They go really deep. This, these chilies were just out of a like a mixed pack, so I really don't know what flavours they are. All right, the tomatoes. Oh, this is a um, cucumber. Some nice flowers in there. Oh, look, we've got some fruit coming on there. First, some zucchinis. Oh, sorry, cucumbers. There's another chili plant. Actually, that's a capsicum. I know that I planted a lot of capsicum. There's actually two plants in there. We'll see what happens. And look out. What's this? Tomatoes. Lots and lots of tomatoes will grow. I'll go through what these are at some point. <laughs> there are uh, eight different varieties in here. Lots and lots of flowers. I've tried hanging a few of them a, a little bit just to try and get some uh, direction. Not as easy as it looks. I think last next time I do this, I'll um, I'll put them a little bit further apart. Or I'll just put them all in one row. But they're growing really well. So you can probably see the rig here. Show you a bit more detail. Basically, there's a pump in here, pumps the water up. I actually got it cycling back through because it's a 5,000 litre per hour pump, which is way more than I need. So it's cycling back in there so that I can reduce the load uh, going through the pipe. It goes straight up the middle and it comes out each of these feed of tubes and go into the bottom of each of the, uh, the pots there. Just feeds in the top. Oh, look out, more tomatoes. Far out, these guys have grown just today. Honestly, I didn't even see them yesterday. That's the bush swift, I think. It is. This one seems to be fastest growing so far. That's good. I'll have those in a couple of weeks, I reckon. Otherwise, it pumps out both directions, goes down to the end, just got a little connector there, sends it all the way to the end and then it feeds in the other end and then comes back down the pipes into these drains and straight back into the tub. This is about a 100 litre tub. I really could use more, it's going through about 50 litres a day. Most of it's um, uh, most of that is just water because they're very hot days at the moment 
They're sucking up a lot of moisture. Probably a fair bit of evaporation as well. Same thing on the other side. Got some cabbages growing there. Looks like I've got some grubs growing in here as well. <laughs> I don't think it's making a lot of difference. They're growing like crazy. More cabbages. And these are rhubarb at the back. That's my crazy tomato plant that fell over. And I'm going to show you that one. This is the... Uh, it's like a windbreak, really. You get very strong northwesterly winds off the ocean here in Devonport. These are uh, some more tomatoes I've got in here. These are the uh, big dwarf. I kind of like the look of this plant. They're not growing fantastically, unfortunately. I really like them, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully they'll bring some fruit and we can really check it out and see what they're like. Some turnips. I threw some seeds in to see what would happen. Only about five or six of those. In the ground here, I transplanted some cabbages from the hydroponics, and this seems to have survived, so I'm adjust. Uh, these are uh, Sputnik. They're a Sputnik, another Russian tomato. Should be nice and black. They're growing quite well. They've probably gone another couple of inches in the last couple of days. I put some uh, sea salt liquid fertilizer on them yesterday. Got some corn growing here. Snow peas up in between the corn. They should be ready in a month or two. Oh, look out. Snow peas everywhere. What's this? That should be good. Look at this. I really didn't even see them. All of a sudden, I've got fruit. Some rhubarb in the ground. Not growing as well as the stuff in the hydroponics, but that'll last for years. I'll keep it going. More tomatoes. I had so many tomato seeds. This year I didn't know what I was doing with them, so I just threw them all in the ground. <laughs> uh, I'm really hoping I can find a nice chutney, a tomato sauce recipe <laughs> at some point. These ones I left really late before planting. Um, what are these ones called? I forget. Polish Giant, that's right. Yeah, These ones must be some little cherry tomatoes in the bottom here, I think. That'll be nice later. More corn and beans. Look at these guys. I can't believe it. I swear they didn't have fruit on them yesterday. Got some, uh, what do they call these now? There's spinach at the back there. This is silver bee. It's about going to seed. I've already harvested a lot. I'm going to let it go to seed and see what happens. And then inside, oh, what do we got? Some Dutch cream potatoes. They're starting to yellow off. I'll dig them up in a few weeks. Inside the greenhouse, more tomatoes. This is a, uh, uh, what do they call it? It's like a cycling sort of bell siphon thing. I started this out with some uh, goldfish in the bottom. Uh, this year I just threw a couple of handfuls of Thrive in there and they seem to be going okay anyway. That runs off a solar panel on the roof, I don't know if you can see that. Up there, comes down to a battery, it's not hooked up anyway. Just runs when the sun's shining. Works quite well. Um, they're all cherry tomatoes in there. So, what else have we got? Did I mention I planted too many tomato seeds here? <laughs> What's this? There's some more tomatoes. They're yellow ripple. Nice little bell shaped tomato. I think about drying some of those out and sun dried tomatoes. Um, this one is more yellow ripple. And again, we've got some tomatoes growing already. They're very small plants, but I don't mind. They'll bush out quite a bit. Bush swift. Another tomato growing there. And these are Roma tomatoes. In this one, I planted some basil in the back there. Just to see how it goes. Hopefully we get some good yields. 
and I've just gone a bit crazy and planted even more stuff. Parsley, sage, coriander, some bunching onions. I haven't got any onions in the ground yet, so I hope these ones grow quickly. I know coriander is supposed to sprout in that much uh, colder climates, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we'll get some. Quite luck. My Thai sort of food, so coriander be good. Some people hate it, but I love it. This is my crazy tomato plant that broke. I just, it was the first thing I put in the hydroponic system. In fact, I've just tried to recover it a little bit, putting a bit of soil in there, but you can see the big stem snapped right in half. But it still goes. The rhubarb, nice thick stems, it's going very well. A few free spots here, I'm going to have to put some more basil in, I think. But this tomato is still growing pretty well. Anyway, that's it for now. I suppose you get to see a mugshot. This is Chris signing off. Hydroponics. Love it.